hello I'm coming today to do a simple and quick how to make your own hair bow tutorial um, I make my daughter a lot of bows to match her dresses and things that I sew for her this fabric here is from trailer made fabric it is a knit fabric it's stretchy it's very good custom quality um, they also sell woven and swim and a bunch of other types of fabric but I have the cotton lycra which is what I'm going to be using which is what I made my daughter a top with and I'm going to do a quick bow tutorial and for this you're going to need some fabric an alligator clip that's lined a glue gun and a sewing machine also a safety pin will come in handy too I line my own um, alligator clips you can buy them pre-lined like this at Hobby Lobby and other craft stores I get I make a lot of them so I get this hundred count box of um, metal single prong clips from Sally Beauty that way I can do a bunch of them and I line them with 3 8 inch ribbon this white was from Walmart okay now to cut our fabric going to need you can cut many different sizes my favorite are big bows like five inch bows and so this is cut five and a half this direction by 11 this direction and then for my centerpiece that I'm going to wrap around the bow I do one and three quarters inch by about five inches um, sometimes if I'm doing a whole bunch of bows I'll make one long strip that I can do around the middle of a lot of bows. To start we're going to fold this fabric in half and there are a lot of ways to make a bow and a lot of tutorials. This has just been my quickest easy way to make a bow that I have found works really well for us. So I'm going to sew along here but I'm going to leave a gap of about two inches one and a half to two inches right in the middle. So I'm going to sew, leave a little gap and sew right along here and then I'm also going oh we'll just start with that first okay so I'm coming over here to my sewing machine and I just use a straight stitch um, because it is stretchy you may prefer to use a a stretch stitch but for the most part we have not had any issues with just a straight stitch again I'm gonna sew leave a gap and sew a little further now I did about a fourth of an inch to three inch seam allowance but you can really do whatever you want to make the size bow that you're wanting okay now that we have that sewn we're gonna open the bow up and put this seam right down the center of the bow now you can iron it right now if you wish I don't iron it until this next step you can iron it open, you can iron it to the side. I'm actually gonna serge this next part, but you can also do sewing machine. Now, once you have it in the middle, we're gonna sew both sides shut right along here. Like I said, I'm using my serger, but you can easily use a sewing machine. There's one side. You're gonna flip it around. And sew the other sides and clip the sides. Now my next step, I'm going to sew the long middle piece. I'm gonna fold it this way and do about a fourth of an inch seam allowance. Right down there. Okay, so now we have our sewn pieces. Next, we need to flip this long skinny piece inside out. 
if you have a tube turner, a bodkin, all sorts of things. If not, a safety pern works really well. I just clip it in a little bit on that side. Pull it through. And there it is, turned inside out. Take the safety pin out, and it's perfect. And we're also going to turn our bow inside out. And I just use my fingers to kind of push the corners up. Some people have little special tools for that. I also don't clip those corners. I found that they come to a pretty nice little point there. Okay, so now we have this little opening in the back. This is the front of our bow. Next, I'm going to do a quick press. I'm going to iron that shut, and I'm also going to iron this with the seam in the middle on the back. And I will be right back. Okay, now that we've pressed it, we just have some little bit crisper edges. Next, we're going to fold the bow. To fold it, I just do an accordion style fold. And you can play around with it and decide how many folds you want in it to get your desired look. I usually go with about four, sometimes five little accordion folds. Now, as you see, I did not sew this back shut. One, I have knit fabric, so it's not going to fray. And two, it's right in the center where I'm going to be wrapping this around and then gluing on my clip. So I have found that it is not usually worth the time, especially when wanting to just make a quick bow to sew that shut. So I'm pinching this closed, and now I'm going to wrap my center around the bow. As you see, I have it upside down. I have the seam showing. This is how I do want it. I want the seam on this side so that on the back here, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give this just a little tug and I'm going to sew right along the edge without catching the bow to sew this closed. Now I usually sew and go back and forth a couple of times to give that a nice secure stitch. Again, just using a straight stitch. And so back and forth and back again. Okay, I'm gonna trim those threads. And now I'm just going to cut off the extra from the middle. Like I said, sometimes if I'm doing a lot of bows, I will do a long strip Sew a little bit around and then just keep the rest to keep sewing more bows. So now we have the back of our bow and we have this sticking up. Now this is the reason we left it with the seam on the top. Because now we're going to flip it around inside out so that now that seam is hidden on the back side of the bow. And there you have it. Now this is perfect if you had bows that you wanted to sew as an embellishment on a dress or to decorate other things. For me, I want this as a hair bow. So what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be gluing this alligator clip onto the back of the bow. There are ways that you can do it where you can get it more secure. Some people like to slip it inside and glue in there so that it's more glued on here. You might possibly need a little more if you have a small toddler who pulls their bows out of their hair a lot. However, I have found with my daughter who is four that just simply gluing it on the back here has worked just fine. We have not had any fall apart. So I'm going to take my glue gun here and put a nice strip of glue along the alligator clip and then press it on here. I also try and make sure to press up the sides of the bow onto there so it's not just clipping 
the center part of the bow. So it's not just gluing the center part of the bow, it's got glue on all sides. I usually hold it here for a little bit just to make sure that the glue gets a good hold and a good stick on there. And then we you can see it opens, can easily slide it into her hair. And there you have it, a simple, fast,